Alright people, welcome back to the official No Man For YouTube channel. Today we've got heat him at home, a couple places above us, hopefully we can get the three points. Come on boys! Right, so I'm here with Long Melbourne manager Dave Hennessy. So Dave, heat him today, what have we got to do to win? Um, I mean, we've got to be uh, approaching the game how we did the last few games. Solid defensively, playing some good birds, and then it's going to the goal. So heat him are without a win in the league since January. Should we capitalise on this opportunity? I mean, you would hope so, but don't underestimate the other side. Collins, this will be his last game. Um, he's got four games suspension starting this week uh, following his red card at Harlow after the final whistle. Good. Come on, boys! Melford being put into the box, saved there by the keeper. And it's 1 0 1 Melford from the rebound. And there is the first goal of the non league day match. And it is Long Melford who have it. It's Long Melford 1, Heacham 0. And literally a few minutes later, Heacham have got an equaliser. An absolutely brilliant through ball there into the top corner. Game on. <laughs> Oh, hook, hook. Yes! Long Melford could have another good chance. It's in! Literally a few seconds after he should be equalised. It's Ryan Gibbs for Long Melford, Liam Gibbs' brother. And it's now Long Melford 2, Heacham 1. <laughs> Well done, each him so clearly. See your place. Yes! Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Wasn't pretty at all. <laughs> Wasn't pretty by any stretch of the imagination, sorry. Um, it was largely effective for the most part. Um, I, I'll give a few the benefit of the doubt because obviously we played Tuesday um, or Wednesday, whenever it was. Um, and it was a hard slog. Um, but a few of you played like you were tired out there today, I thought, and we made our work of it against a side you should really have been put, in, put into bed. Um, but it's another win. Um, it's not another clean sheet, unfortunately, but I think that's that's the one disappointment for me uh, more than anything, because I don't think we should have conceded today at all. Um, but we grind, grind it out, another three points, closes the gap on them, and obviously we'll go to their place on the 13th, hopefully in front of them, and finishing strongly. So. Rest up now. We've got training, obviously, on uh, on Wednesday, um, and then we've got two big games next weekend. So then we're here. Is it Theorem Saturday? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Theorem on Saturday, and then we're over to Woodbridge on uh, on Bank Holiday Monday. So, yeah, yeah. I'll put I'll put everything in the group. I'm going to put everything in the group today for the next four games because of the under 23s as well. Um, so we'll, we'll want availability for the next week and a half. Um, but yeah. 
well, <coughs> can't say well done, but job yeah. done. Yeah. Um, done. Yeah. And we go again <laughs> on Wednesday. Well, I'm here with Long Melbourne manager Dave Hennessy following a 2 1 win. Dave, how would you sum up the game? Scrappy. Um, it wasn't the most attractive game of football. Um, obviously, both sides are at the lower end of the table. So it was, I think, points over over sort of prettiness. I think was the, the necessary evil today. Um, and I thought we, we shaved it. I thought we were the better side. And I thought we deserved to win. So now that's four league wins in a row. Now, do you think we can extend that run? I mean, I'd like to. Yeah, obviously we've got Deerham coming here on Saturday. That won't be an easy game. They're riding high in the table. But you look at our fixtures. We've got the likes of Brantham, Woodbridge, Heacham away. Um, we've got some games that are going to be tough. But I'd like to like to pick up points in them. Now, obviously, Harry Watson notes on the score sheet today. Would you say you played up for Wednesday or Tuesday? I mean, Harry did nothing wrong on Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to criticise someone that steps up to take a penalty. Um, so he's got no making up to do in that respect. Um, I thought he had a good game on Wednesday night. I thought he was decent again today. And it's nice to see him on the score sheet. I think that's his all for the season now. And our final question, who was your man of the match? Ooh, that's a difficult one. Um, I'd probably say the skipper just about shaded it. Um, I don't think anyone really stood out. I don't think anyone really lit it up. But hey, we've got the three points, and, and that's the most important thing. Right, on to the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so I'm here with your man of the match today, Jacob. Jacob, how do you think we played? Didn't play particularly well, uh, especially first half. Uh, I'm not going to completely blame the pitch, but the pitch doesn't help. But I always say it's the same for uh, both teams out there. Um, but. We got the win and three points, that's all, all that matters. And now obviously this is your man of the match interview, how do you feel like you played? I know I didn't play my best, I, I always put 100% and I'm sure most of the boys do as well, or if not all of them, um, but I know myself I, I weren't, I weren't um, at my best anyway. And now we've got Deerham next, how do you think that could go? Either way, either way, um, that's home isn't it? Should that's, be, yeah. that's home, yeah. Um, I think we played alright on there over at their pitch. Um, again, I think a lot of it comes down to our pitch, um, not necessarily as, as boys, because we do try to play football, but the pitch massively doesn't help, and Deerham are a completely different team to uh, each of them. Um, we just got to go for it. We've got to keep picking up points now. Brilliant. Thank you. Right, so I'm here with the first Melbourne meeting in a while with Deck. So, Deck, got a few questions. I'm just going to get straight into them. Tasting or talking? Tasting. Tasting. Did you say tasting? Or? Said te texting or talking. Oh, te texting and talking. I'll oh, definitely talking. Communication key. Yeah, communication key. Yeah, as you can see on the field, you don't stop, stop, stop talking. First, seconds, and thirds. Melbourne. Yeah, 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 definitely, mate. Well, lost, you're to pool, lost, lost, lost my voice today oh, my again. Favorite day of the week. You're going to pool. Uh, that's got to be Friday, yeah. surely. Not Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Yeah, I guess uh, Friday or Saturday is best day. Last song you listened to. Or, or your favourite song? The last song I listened to was probably Neo, I guess, or 50 Cent. Neo? Yeah. I've never heard of that before. Favourite holiday? Favourite holiday over in Cuba. Cuba. Cuba and Dom Dominican Republic as well. How long does it take for you to get ready for a football match? Prepared, like preparing? Well, I'm old school, just, yeah, I'm old school, put me stuff in my bag and I'm ready to go, none of these uh, cut sock stuff. Is it wrong for a vegetarian to eat animal crackers? Depends what vegetarian are, some people are strict, some people are pescatarian, so this goes on now. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Will. Cheers, thank you. Envy Ball, full time, 2 1 win against Heacham. Not a bad performance, not our greatest, we've been better, but hopefully we can now improve on that and we can pick up another win. That would now mean we've won four league games in a row, all at home, one goal conceded. Let's go, on to the next one. Come on, the boys.